Hello creative family. How are you guys doing? We are in the first day of December. Actually, I think it's the third day. And as always running behind with my postcards. Nothing new, nothing new. They're all going out at once. I figured I might as well wait until I have these, this set, all finished and then they'll go out with all the rest. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I sell my postcards. I create them one by one, one of a kind, inspired from things I see all over the interwebs. And of course, nothing can be copied or duplicated, even for myself. They're just inspired by. And so I sell them on my, um, <clears throat> I was going to say Pandora's box. What is it called? Patreon. There's a monthly subscription of six, I think six ninety-five, seven dollars. I'm not even sure anymore. Anyways, so that's what I'm gonna work on. I have here a little monkey in a tub. So we're gonna do our first layers. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. Maybe I am. This was gifted by Janet. We all know that Janet Marsh is my girlfriend. My lady friend. She's become a best friend to me. Hmm. Other than you guys all my friends and family here. You know, I'm always here for you guys. I'm always here. I'm here when you need me. When you feel inspired or you feel the need of my company, you can always go back into my videos and Watch me there. I, there's so many videos. I'm always around. I'm always around. You can always find me through my videos. And sometimes you can find me on Facebook. And you can find me on Messenger. You can find me on my email. I'm always here for you guys. You guys are always here for me. <clears throat> there's 998 videos the last time I checked. Sometimes I delete videos uh, depending on my mood or people that come in and out of our lives where at one time they were the best thing that ever happened to you and then all of a sudden they weren't the best thing that you, you thought was for you and then you learn to learn, learn what you learn from that person what's going on here and you end up moving on and that's just the way life is you learn what you learn do I have no connection hang on a second guys my iPad is acting up there we go I was going to bring up comments <clears throat> so that I can answer them here. My iPad is just full of kitty hairs, which I'm fine. doesn't bother me any. What I was trying to say is sometimes I remove videos depending on what I say or if depending on the mood I am or depending on the person that's come in and out of my life. If they're, if it was just a rotten relationship or I just feel like removing because we do remove people out of our lives all the time, don't we? And we learn what we learn from them and we move on for the good. For the good of them, for the good of ourselves, and for the own good of our souls. So that's what I'm saying. There's 900 and something videos. Sometimes it's 998 and sometimes it's less. It all just depends what I've removed, what I've left, what YouTube has 
striped fancy as not monetizable, which I'm fine with. But I'm always here for you guys. Always, always. Because there's just so many videos you guys can watch. I have a um, playlist that you guys can watch. Loads of them. I'm just letting that dry there. I'm going to give it a second coat in a second. <clears throat> I was hoping I could bring up um, I put money. I guess not. My iPad is acting up. Um, what was I saying? I was going to bring up comments so I could answer. I feel so much better. I've still got that cough that lingers. I'm doing so much better. Benini, stop licking. Hey! BP has all of her stitches and all of her staples removed as of Sunday. Yep. She's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the head. So these are drawn, this one is drawn out. Um, I'm trying to stay on top of my drawings and paintings. And I'm trying not to have you guys wait so long and stay waiting for me to come up with an idea and then jot it down. So instead I'm pre-doing them. This is very cool. I want some more. I don't know the name. If you guys know the name, that would be really nice if you guys can give me the name. I don't go out to craft stores, believe it or not. Mm. Bean, stop licking. So I have to keep Beans from licking herself. So you're going to constantly hear me ask her to stop licking. So these little tubes, they're very well shut. Um, they stay closed really well. I guess she feels strange, and I'm talking about Benini. She's running really low to the ground, as if the air is too cold on her belly after... She's gotten her surgical suit off, and um, look at that big glob in there. She's got all her stitches out, so I think the air is hitting her belly, and it's strange to her. So she's running around like a little strange, like low to the ground. Okay. What I have here is just another color, a little darker, so that I can come on in and, and make my adjustments. Stop licking. She's pretty good. When I say stop licking, she usually stops, unless it's feeling so good that she will continue. So, yeah, my voice is a little deep right now. Alright, so, we keep on moving on in. These will be white, but I usually will grab whatever color that I'm using and use it as a base. Okay, I have a new rag, so if you guys stick with me and watch me, you'll see this rag go from this to what you see down there. To me, in my eyes, it's a piece of art. It's a 
beautiful to me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting used to this iPad. Veronica says, I hope you're feeling better. Thanks, Veronica. I am feeling better. Uh, Kelly, I contacted. Uh, I want one of her canvases. She recently did a canvas of a girl with black hair. And I really fell in love with it. So I'm, I emailed her. If you don't know who Kelly is, it's Kelly Donovan Knittings and Things. She's one of the original YouTubers here in the art world. I think she started oh, uh, I don't know if she started in MySpace. I have a feeling she did. But then she did a, I think it was Google Hangouts for the longest time. She's been in plenty of arts and crafts groups. Bean, stop licking. She's just one of the original OGs here, and I really love her. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're going to cover this up and start going into different colors. Let's do Cocoa Bean. And the reason I'm keeping them in these little jars, oh man, I need to shake that up. I have more cards, more, all of these postcards that I'm working on. They're all, all already sketched out in a, in a manner, not in a perfect sketch. I have many more over there already sketched out. I have robots coming up and all kinds of stuff. That we'll be painting up. So you receive it in the mail in, a, in, in an envelope. Sometimes you receive my postcards once a month and sometimes as an artist I, I don't rush my work and it's not computerized and it's not robotically made. It's not manufactured. It's handmade by me. So sometimes this art pieces take long for me to create and so you'll get your postcard mm, sometimes five, the, five of them five months later. And that's, that's the deal with getting original hand painted art from me is that I don't rush through I create videos. You guys get to see it all come together. Pippi, stop. You get to see it all come together on YouTube, on the videos. And if this is your card, you get to watch how I created it. If you hear whining, that's, that's Beans. She's a little whiny. Nothing hurts. I know nothing hurts. She's just getting used to her new little body after major surgery. And if she continues to be um, whiny, yes, she'll definitely go right back to the vet. She hates the vet. She really does. Okay, so this brown has now taken over. And these are things that I don't care to take control over. If a color wants to take over, I'm fine with it. I work with it and it becomes what it wants to become eventually. Oh, BB, stop crying. All right.
think I want to get some more. And even put it out here. The monkey has his or her arms in the tub. I'm going to work on that tail. Now work on these legs. I'm sure there should be another leg over here. Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna thicken the leg down here. Any little hair on these markers really do get in the way. Beep, beep, no licking. I'm going to come right back in here and define my, my monkey a little bit. I like the sketch look. I don't like prominent lines. Pee pee, stop licking. Stop licking. Okay. Mm. There's like a peach, and then there's a gray I can use. Oh, I have happy mail coming in. I call it creative birdie mail. I was notified by one of you family members. You're sending me birdie mail. It was supposed to be a small package from what I remember. Give some cheeks here. Cheeks here. It was supposed to be just beads, from the looks of it, it's way more than just beads, and I'm super excited. Super excited. And I'm going to give it a little rosiness coming down, just because I can. Oh, you guys are starting to see my my rag become one of these. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll come back. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Got oh. myself some water. Whew. Get myself my pencil, my water. use some white. Titanium white. I'm looking for my lid. There it is. Okay, let's start making these bubbles messing around in here so that things can dry.
I'm not making perfection. This is all handmade stuff. It's the illusion as well. I'm even going to make half bubbles. And some that have already popped and just left splatters on the floor. And I'm going to play, play up some white inside the tub. Just randomly. I will even use my finger just to have that fun with, for myself while I create. That's really important to me. It's not just creating YouTube videos for you guys. It's actually me sharing my life. Uh, fun that I have while I create. I don't want it just to be content. I want it to be... I'm going to grab a dry brush. A fluffy dry brush so that I can buff it in. Um, are these things that people, other people do with dry brushes? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm self-taught. What was I saying? Yeah, I like to create for you guys. But at the same time, I, I want to have fun while I'm doing it. I'm sure you understand. And I like to learn from myself the things that I'm capable of and the mistakes that I make that I love making because it's just new things. New things. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use the end of this to make more bubbles. I should use some puffy paint. Coming even out of the tub. See what I'm saying? There's many ways to make bubbles. And I'll come in and give the bubbles some shadows and all that good stuff. Kind of like the better, I like the brush part better, this part. There's a little tiny hair. That was my nose. My nose squeaked. <laughs> okay. Now, I think I might turn the tub yellow. We'll see how this goes. Go right over the bubbles. I'm good with that. I like that. And I'll go over with some more white.
perfect. And then what else? I think the cheeks, rosy little cheeks need to come back. So, clean my brush off. Gotta let this dry. And then I'm gonna get my pencil. Just your regular mechanical pencil. I learned this trick from Kelly Donovan. She uses ordinary things all the time in her art adventures. She's always giving tips for beginners. I like the look of the pencil, I really do. This is not dry, otherwise I'd go right in on there. So what I'm going to do is let this dry and then we'll come right back. But meanwhile, now that I remember, where is my pen? Pin, 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 there's my pen. found this in the trash and it works very well for signing, it doesn't smear. I always sign my birth name and last name and date. And then this is one of one. Okay, I'm going to come back once that's nice and dry. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Don't get alarmed if you hear one of my, or both of my dogs harassing me. As soon as I turn on the camera, that's what they do. They try to take the spotlight. Okay, let's get moving. So... I'm going to find where I want to put the nose. Right there. Oh. I think I took it off. I want to welcome one of my new patrons. Meanwhile, that loads. Let's finish here. Oh, here we go. Lady Wing, Lady Wine Tear, Lady Wine Tear. Welcome to my Patreon. Thank you. Okay, so that'll be the bottom. You guys want to get closer? No, I think that's good. And then I want to put an eye here. Now remember, these are inspired, not exact, and no, not duplicates of things on Pinterest. You can look up all sorts of stuff. You can look up anything you really like. I'm just going to put randomness here. Mm. Oh, some eyebrows. Cheeks are in. Mm, I'm thinking about what kind of mouth. 
oh, maybe a little X. Yeah, I like the X. Okay, now let's play with those bubbles. I'm thinking stickles would be perfect. And there's all sorts of other glitters that are excuse me, trying to duplicate stickles. But in my mind, you can't duplicate stickles, really, honestly. It's very different. Now, if all you can get is something that's kind of like stickles, I say that's better than not having anything. I've made my own glitter glues and worked with them for as long as I had to. And then... Janet sent me a bunch of stickles. My daughters buy me art supplies. Uh, and that's what I ask for. Uh, for holidays. And stuff like that. Okay, that's good enough for me. I don't like to overdo it. Although, you guys know I totally overdo it all the time. This is white. I'm looking for. Here we go. Glitter gloss. I always have a hard time remembering how to open these darn things. There's many things you can do to make bubbles look more like bubbles. But I'm not going to do that. Not today. Not for right now. For right now, it's just imagination. But there are plenty of things you can do. You can shadow some gray in here and some pinks. Um, every shade of gray and certain shades of pink, blue. Um, you can even do like hot pink because remember sometimes bubbles reflect other th colors like oranges and stuff like that and he's all done and th these are postcards for December uh, going out for Patreons um, for January but the lady I just mentioned, she's going to get probably um, one of these for for December. Everybody else's postcards went out. They all got taken take to the post office and they're all out. So, we're all done here. This is what you get. They're all signed. And on to the next. See you guys later. And remember, I'm always here for you. Bye.